You may have heard about component-based architecture in Godot, and maybe preferring it over inheritance. Let's take a look at a simple implementation that I've been using in my larger projects. I have a platform play with two components, a movement component and an animation component. Both of these components inherit from a base component class, which extends Node. You could also extend Node 2D or Node 3D depending on your project, and that would allow you to do some more stuff with positioning and things as children of your components. Each component, during its ready function, stores a reference to all other components that it finds at its same level. That takes your ready function, so it supplies a new function, component ready, that components can use as their own ready functions. This allows us to get any component by type. Let's take a look. In the animation component, we need a reference to the movement component. We do this by preparing a storage place for the reference. And then in our component ready function, we call get component and then we find the type of movement component. Now we have a reference to the movement component at the same level as the animation component. Now you may wonder, why not just use path? It's a valid question, but there's something mentally helpful about having your own types reference each other in this way. It separates your components from things like animated sprite 2D and collision shape 2D in your mind. In addition, Having a base component class gives you the ability to extend this and add additional functionality, error checking, error handling, or anything else that you might want to have. For example, you may want to have a global signal to all of your components that they could all subscribe to that you could store here, and any of your components could call that signal at any time. This just provides additional flexibility. So let's go ahead and extend our platform player to add some jumping sound and prepare maybe a class that would allow for footsteps. So I'm going to create a new script, audio component. It's going to inherit from the base component class. I need to give it a class name so it can be referenced by type. Since this is going to be interacting with our movement component, I'm going to get a reference to the movement component. I now have a reference to the movement component. My movement component has an on jump signal. I can listen to that. On jump, I want to play the jump audio. Going to need an audio stream player. Just need to call play. For these types of components, I like using export variables as it makes it very obvious what's missing. Need to call connect. Going to need to create that audio stream player. I'm going to drag in my jump sound and add my new component and add my reference. Now I have jump sound. I also have a component that's ready for footsteps and other audio on the player. This is a flexible system, easy to use, easy to learn, and it will serve you well. Give it a shot.